Sheesh. So yeah, what's up guys? You guys ready? This is what we're making today. A beautiful board of tuna. Okay, tuna assortment. Hope you guys are ready, cause uh, yeah, let's make something good. Sheesh. All right, well, so um, what I got today is a block of tuna. So it's a little bit more, uh, less than a pound of tuna. Uh, some sushi rice and then some spicy mayo. So I'm gonna be making a few things with that today. And then um, I'll probably be making a uh, spicy tuna spicy tuna roll, a uh, tekamaki, which is a single the seaweed outside tuna roll, and then probably a uh, tuna avocado roll. All right, guys. So yeah, let's make a um, tuna assortment tuna platter today. All right. So uh, after cutting that up, I got uh, a few. I cut a few blocks of uh, just regular tuna out of that. Okay, uh, I got uh, two pieces of nigiri out of that, so about four finger lengths. Okay, and then a little bit of uh, tuna scrapings that was left off um, for a spicy tuna ham roll, I guess. All right, all right. So guys, let's uh, begin right away. <coughs> I'm gonna first start off with a uh, spicy tuna sushi roll, and then I'll work my way. Okay, so otherwise, what's up guys? How's everybody been? Welcome back to uh, the channel. Okay, so um, as you guys know lately, I've been using just um, multi-grain rice. It's uh, pretty good actually, in my opinion. So um, regular rice is, uh, white rice, I guess, is um, doesn't have much benefits of it. So um, I guess uh, there's a lot more nutrition in multi-grain rice. So it's uh, not too bad if you guys, you know, Want to try it out? I would uh, recommend it. All right, so I will be making a spicy tuna. I guess I'll put some avocado in that too. Maybe why not? Okay, so um, basically it's the spicy mayo, and then uh, I just put in a little bit of scallion. I have that I'm just gonna roll it up as usual okay tighten it roll it and then uh, I use my bamboo mat to fix it out okay so I'm gonna press on the sides not too much pressure a little bit on the top okay lift up uh, roll forward and then just tighten it one more time okay once that's that uh, fix out the sides if it's popping out a little bit and then uh, wet the knife, and then we're gonna cut this into eight pieces. Okay, so uh, I'll put some sesame seeds and all that on after, once it's, everything is done. Okay, so uh, I might have put in a little bit too much avocado, but I guess it's okay. Okay, so now that uh, I made that spicy tuna roll, next up I'll make a uh, avocado tuna avocado roll. Okay, so uh, I guess basically what I try to do is um, with whatever ingredients I have, I try to utilize that uh, and get make the most things I can out of it. Okay, so uh, ignore if I sometimes make too much with one ingredient, guys. Okay, so I'll press my rice down. Okay, in a waving motion. Also, it's a little bit, definitely a little bit different making this with the uh, multi-grain rice sometimes. The rice is, uh, it definitely does feel different, tastes different, and uh, different when you make it. Alright, so that's that. Okay, I'll put in uh, two pieces of tuna. Okay, 
just a little bit. Not enough, but you know, make it manage. Okay, we'll do that. Put in an avocado. Okay, once that's done, I'm gonna tighten it, roll it. Okay, use my bamboo mat to fix it out. Tighten the side slightly, lift up, roll, and repeat. Okay, so that's that. Once that's done, I'm going to wet my knife, cut it in half, and then into uh, half again. Cut it into half again. So I'm gonna plate that again now and then I'll show you guys how to make a tekama. Okay, so on to the next one. So now we are almost running out of rice and tuna. So I guess we're doing a good job. Alright, so next one I'm gonna be making is a tekamaki. It's a Japanese for tuna. Okay, so it's the single tuna rolls you normally see. I'm gonna fill my rice, a little bit less than what I normally use. Okay, spread my rice across. So for this one, I want to, my goal is to leave a little uh, space on one side and then uh, fill rice on the rest of the seaweed. Okay. So the goal for this one is for the rice to stick to the rice and then the seaweed will kind of uh, overlap and act as a glue and close the sushi bowl. Alright, so. Okay, so once I got that, I'm going to take my bamboo mat now. This is a... Uh, this is how I make this, I guess. I should have used it first, but uh, I just find this bamboo mat very helpful when you make a uh, single roll, ha single hand roll, uh, single roll, I guess. Okay, so I'm running out of a little tuna, so I will adjust. When in doubt, adjust it out, right? Okay, so I have that now. I'm gonna lift up using my thumbs, okay, roll over. I'm gonna pinch my ingredients inside kind of, slightly. I'm gonna press slightly, okay, and then when you lift up, you can see it kind of, uh, kind of closed, I guess. The rice is sticking to the rice, okay. And then you can see only the seaweed. I'm gonna lift up now, press forward, okay, seal the sushi roll. And there you have it. So pretty much this bamboo mat really does all the work in this one. Okay, so definitely very helpful, very good to use. Alright, so now once I have this, I'm going to cut this one into six pieces this time. Okay, so I'm going to cut it in half. And instead of cutting it uh, into half, I'm going to cut it into thirds this time, okay? Alright. Knife. And you get nice. Ooh, that actually looks pretty good. Look at that. All right. Okay, so uh, running out of rice and running out of ingredients. So, last two final things I will be making really quick is going to be a uh, kumkan and a nigiri piece. Okay, so I'm gonna make a tuna nigiri with a uh, uh, single piece of uh, tuna I have left over because I used the other one. I was running out of rice. Yeah, so take tuna, okay, okay, I'm gonna take a little wasabi, put that inside, press that inside, put my rice on top, I'm gonna have, uh, press on the center of the rice, okay, to make it a little hollow, flip it over using my index finger, and I'm gonna kind of just uh, wrap the fish over the rice now. If you guys want to see how to, how to make nigiri, I have a nigiri video, so it's uh, I'll show you guys a few different ways, you know, people like to make nigiri. Okay, so that's what you get when you're done. Put that down. Okay, and then I'm gonna make just one piece of a uh, kumkan. And then I'll just give you guys a close up of uh, how this platter came out. Looks pretty good actually in my opinion, I like it. Okay, all right. Also guys, um, yeah, you know, if you guys can, uh, give uh, the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, so I'm gonna take that, wrap it around, just like that. 
I'm gonna make this one a little bit smaller because I'm out of uh, ingredients. Okay, so something just nice and cute. Alright. Okay, put my tuna on top just like that. There you have it. Alright guys, I'm gonna... Alright, so uh, I don't know if you're ready for this, but... Sheesh! It's a uh, tuna assortment sushi platter, alright. So this is uh, everything that I made today, just using that little uh, less than a pound of tuna. Got myself a beautiful uh, tuna avocado roll. Woo! How's that looking, guys? Okay, one piece of tuna nigiri. A little uh, spicy tuna kunkan. Tuna hozomaki, it's looking uh, nice. Okay, and then a little bit of a uh, spicy tuna with avocados. Sheesh, whoo! How does that look guys? Does it look good? Appetizing, appealing? Alright, so for garnish, ooh, spicy mayo. Spicy mayo that up. Okay. And then you know, uh, you know the Domino's boxes. Had some Domino's yesterday. Okay, and now I'm gonna take some uh, sesame seeds. Okay. Spread this. Something like that. Nothing crazy. But yeah. So we got, uh, you know. Once again, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the tuna platter. If you guys did. Please uh, click down. Give it a like. And subscribe. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Thank you.